Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video as always, guys. Um, and let's get into this video. Okay, guys. So, um, Gennady Golovkin has been made uh, or has been ordered to fight uh, Alexandre Lara for the WBA title, middleweight title. Um, I don't know if Golovkin is gonna wanna is gonna wanna fight someone like Lara. I mean. Golovkin at this point is probably looking for a big fight against Charlo or someone that's going to make him a lot of money. Lara isn't going to be able to generate him that kind of money. I do think he beats Lara, by the way. I think Lara's finished. Uh, I've seen him. I think Lara lost recently, uh, you know, a couple fights back. Or uh, Lara, you know, since Jarrett Heard, I think he's not been the same fight. I don't think he's the guy that fought Canelo all those years ago. He's definitely not that guy. Um, so yeah, I expect Golovkin to do a number on him if, if they were to fight, but I'm not sure whether Golovkin would be looking to fight um, um, Golov um, Lara. I don't know if they would uh, if they would allow him to fight uh, Charlo uh, instead of instead of Alessandri Lara if there's an opportunity that's put on the table. I'm not sure if they would because obviously they say unification takes priority. So if a uh, if Golovkin can make a fight with Charlo, would the WBA, um, you know, give it, give it him uh, the exemption in order to fight someone like Charlo uh, for a, in a unification fight? I'm not sure they would. Uh, would they? Uh, I, I think they should. I think they should because I think it's a much bigger fight and I think it's a unification fight between two belt holders. And I do think Lara would. I mean, I do think Golovkin would be willing to fight Charlo at this point in his career because I think the reason why he wasn't fighting those guys previously because they were dangerous. And he wanted the Canelo fight. But now that the Canelo fight is gone, I think Golovkin, if he wants to carry on, I think you'll see a Golovkin fight. Because Golovkin has never had an issue fighting anyone. I think of recent years, I think because of the fact that he wanted the Canelo third fight, I don't think he wanted to risk losing that Canelo third fight. Hence why those guys probably didn't get the fight with him. But now I think Golovkin will be more open with fighting any of these guys. And this is why I think someone like Demetrius Andrade made the most ridiculous decision to avoid Janabek. Because if he could have got past Janabek, there was a good chance the fact that he could have got a fight with Gennady Golovkin. But, you know, he he's not going to rely on that. But the fact is, even him going to 168, it, for me, it was a better option staying at 160. Because now he's given up his belt as well. So now he's got no carrot. Whereas Golovkin would have had that carrot. He probably wants to be undisputed. So now, now... He doesn't really have that carrot, does he? What carrot does Andre bring? So Golovkin's not... That, that, that fight's gone. Whereas now I think Golovkin is going to be willing to fight guys like Charlo, Janabek. Um, because Golovkin wants to become undisputed, in my opinion. I think that's a goal of his that he's not managed to accomplish. So I think Golovkin will look to achieve that goal, in my opinion. And I think... I, I personally think that, you know, um, these guys now have got a great opportunity of getting that Golovkin fight. Even Chris Eubank, because Golovkin might even take the Eubank fight because it's a big money fight. Although I think if he's going to fight with someone like Chris Eubank, Golovkin's going to have to vacate his belt. And I don't think he's going to be willing to do that. That's why I think the Charlo fight is a very, very strong possibility because I think Golovkin wants to become undisputed. And I think I think that fight, he'll probably look at it. It's a big fight, it's a big fight out there for me financially. And it's an opportunity for me to get a three, third belt. So I think Golovkin would probably want to fight a Charlo rather than fight um, someone like a Lara who's got he's got nothing to gain from Lara. But Lara's old now as well, and Lara's past his best. I mean, I think Lara will. I think Golovkin can beat Lara. You know, even though I think Lara could cause him some issues with his style, but I think Lara's past it. I think Lara's finished. I think Golovkin will wipe him out. Uh, Jarrett Heard beat um, uh, Lara, and Golovkin's bigger, stronger, better, punches harder. I mean, I think, he, and that was a years ago that he heard beat your Laura years ago. I mean, I can't see, I can't, I can't see Laura beating Golovkin even at this point. Even this version of Golovkin, I don't think he beats. Um, I don't think he beats him. I think Golovkin will do a number on him. I do. Um, I hope the Gennady Golovkin. I hope if Gennady Golovkin is going to continue, I think the Charlo fight is a fight which I think makes a lot of sense. Whether they, you know, can agree a deal, I'm not so sure. Uh, I think this it's more of a possibility because I think Gol I think uh, Charlo would want the Golovkin fight. Now uh, Charlo would definitely want the Golovkin fight, um, and I think Golovkin, if they can pay him enough money, 
and the fact that Golovkin still probably has a goal of being undisputed I think that would be something that he'd want uh, still to do so yeah I think it makes I think I think the Charlo fight makes a lot of sense moving on from this Golovkin Laras situation uh, yesterday we have Shakur Stevenson uh, Shakur Stevenson um, beat uh, Robson Conseil Sal. Firstly, I'd like to say that you know Shakur Stevenson didn't make weight, which is very poor, very very uh, unprofessional. Um, look, I understand that these guys struggle making weight. Making weight is very very difficult. It's not easy, so you know you you can excuse fighters. It it can be very difficult. But when you agree contractually agree to make a weight and you don't make weight, it's very very unprofessional. Um, and if Shakur Stevenson couldn't make weight, he probably should have pulled out and said, you know, I can't make this weight. Um, but again, it, fighters need, fighters get paid. I mean, you're not going to just pull out of a fight because he's not going to get paid then. So, you know, he took the hit and thought, look, I'm no longer a 130. I'm no longer a 130 pounder. He said, I'm going to move up to 135, which is very exciting for that division. But... I just think that if he was going to fight Robson, why did he fight Robson Conceição when he should have just moved up the previous fight because he would have been struggling at the weight. So rather than this facade and look, people looking at him like, oh, this guy's unprofessional, he should have just moved up from the last fight that he had and said, okay, I'm going to 135 now. There was no point of having this fight. He lost his titles on the, I mean, he basically effectively lost his titles on the on the scales, didn't he? So, yeah, so let's, let's see him now move up to... Um, 135. Uh, firstly, his performance, I thought it was a good performance. You know, he did what he had to do. You know, Shakur Stevenson's very hard to hit. Some people, like, uh, Rowley came out and said he's very, you know, he gets hit a lot and he's supposed to be the best. Like, he's a different class fighter. He doesn't get hit a lot. He's fast, he's snappy, um, and he's just a good fighter all round. Um, I think his performance was good. I, I think he could have done more, uh, probably. Like, some people were probably expecting him to get a stoppage, but that guy, that, that guy's tough. Uh, Robson Conceição is tough and look he gave Valdez a lot of people thought he beat Valdez uh, but Shakur totally took I mean he battered Valdez he, he took him apart really so Shakur's different level he's different class um, and we've seen that in his performances he's definitely very very good um, going up to 135 how will he fare in that division I think I think Shakur has a very good chance even in that division I think he's I think he's probably one of the best there probably maybe beat all of them um, you know, him, Lomachenko's a beautiful fight. Him, Haney's a good fight. Him, Tank, all of those fights are great. Ryan got all of those fights are great, great fights. I mean, I want to see Shakur against any of those guys. I mean, I think they're all spectacular fights. And they're all fan-friendly and all exciting fights that can be made. So, hopefully, hopefully they make them, you know. And they give us the, give us the fights that we want because... Uh, I think there's some I think there's some cracking cracking fights to be made cracking fights so yeah I'm looking forward to Shakur's future at 135 uh, also it'll be a lot easier for his body a lot easier for him to make weight it'll be a, just a whole heap easier for him which obviously it seems like he's been struggling making weight so let's see if him this is a, this makes it a lot easier for him to make weight uh now uh, and he'll have an easier time and maybe there'll be a more energetic Shakur in the ring and that's scary for fighters because he the way he's been performing at 130 he's been pretty devastating i mean he's been outclassing guys like his performance against valdez was literally scary i mean he totally outclassed him and just made him look like nothing now some people might not enjoy the style you know uh some people may say he's boring i i don't think i think devin haney's a little bit more i think he's a lot more I think he's a lot more fluid and a lot more smoother than Haney. I think he's a bit more naturally gifted than Devin Haney. I think Haney's about making it dull and boring and just win a decision. I mean, this guy's a lot more. He's got, he's got, he's fast. He throws quick combinations. He's good to watch. He's pleasing to the eye. Um, I, I, I like Shakur a lot more than someone like Haney. Um, and I think, I think Shakur would beat Haney. I do. I think Shakur's southpaw he moves well he's fast i mean he, he's got he's got the real i think him against lomachenko is a special fight i mean i do think for me i think he might be the i think he might be everybody at 135 as well you know i think shakur is that good i think he's a special special talent don't get me wrong at 135 it's going to be tough for him like those are difficult fights because people like javante davis have the power to take your lights out ryan garcia is fast and explosive um, they're big as well, those guys. Those guys are ready to move up from 135. Like Haney's massive. You know, Lomachenko, he's a small guy. He's more, he's a smaller guy, but he's so skilled and so good. That's another fight that, you know, that I, yeah, man, 
Th those fighters at 135 are, are really, really good. And they're going to give this guy a, a serious test. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see how he gets on with those guys over there. But yeah, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think about um, Golovkin Lara and about Shakur Robson Conceição. Leave your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.